Hey YouTube, this is Detroit Borg with a look at the VGA adapter for the iPad 2. Now this is actually a carryover product from the original iPad and uh, the iPad 2 does bring some additional functionality such as mirroring. Uh, it is compatible with the original iPad, iPad 2, iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation and I'll demonstrate that compatibility uh, toward the second half of this video. But the first thing I want to do is connect this to an iPad to demonstrate how it works with mirroring. Now, looking at the product, you see here we have a VGA connector and a dock connector. So the dock connector connects to the iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch, and the VGA cable connects here. Now, this is very different from the digital AV adapter, which I've demonstrated in a previous video, and I'll link that in the description below. Uh, but this is basically good for uh, outputting HDMI to a television. Uh, this is good for VGA, so the difference lies there. And the important thing to keep in mind with VGA is that VGA does not output audio so you'll have to connect audio separately and I'll do that for this demonstration. Now here we have my iPad 2 and a basic computer monitor with a VGA connector. This also has speakers built in so I'll connect the audio to show you how that works. Now all I need to do is take the VGA cable, connect it to the adapter and connect this to the dock connector on the iPad. So as soon as I connect it, you will see my monitor wake up and it will start displaying the image of the iPad. So this is called mirroring. I'm seeing exactly what the iPad is showing. Now in order to get sound to my speakers, I'll have to connect an aux cable to my iPad. Now let's just start playing around with it. We're going to launch Safari and we're going to go right to the Apple page and we're going to play a video. So we're playing both video and audio. And if we tap full screen, you'll see that the iPad is now a remote control for the video on the monitor. This also works with YouTube, so if we launch YouTube and we play my latest video. So you see my video on the monitor and the iPad is now a remote control. In this video, we're going to be comparing the performance of the I can scrub it. The iPad, both are currently connected to... Pause it. Click done. Now let's try Netflix. So the Netflix app is enabling my iPad to become the remote and the monitor is the display. So let's click, uh, I don't know, let's do anything. Let's do Dexter. Now something I've discovered with the VGA adapter is that a lot of copyrighted content uh, downloaded to your iTunes library cannot play back and this seems to only happen with the VGA adapter. I, I don't know why, but let's bring up videos and let's play Star Trek. Let's just choose any chapter here. So we see the monitor is displaying the first scene of the chapter, but if you look at the iPad you get this warning, cannot play movie, the connected display is not authorized to play protected movies. I'm not sure why this is, only the VGA adapter does this, but it looks like it's a DRM issue. So we're going to have to cancel that. Now let's try another movie. I'm going to try Inception to see if it does the same thing. Again, this is a movie purchased on iTunes. Yeah, so indeed we have the exact same issue here. So that's something to keep in mind if you're planning to, I guess, play back your iTunes content. Now that really only comes up with content that's DRM protected. So if I play back my own content here, well, let's see if I find nothing too embarrassing. What's up YouTube? This is Detroit Board with the test of the FaceTime camera. So there we go. Again, I'm playing back without those problems. Now you can also view slideshows on here. So we're going to tap my iPad gallery, click slideshow. And we're just going to do the iPad, start slideshow. Now on the monitor you can see that only the photos are appearing, but if you look at the iPad you have some additional functionality. Again, the photos are displaying on the iPad, but you can select your photos from the, top, uh, from the lower menu bar and you have other actions in the top menu bar. Keynote is an app that was really designed for the VGA connector. A lot of people use the VGA connector to connect your iPad to a projector. Uh, so for example, if you want to take your iPad to a business meeting and for a presentation, more than likely you're going to have a VGA connector to connect to an overhead projector. So how that works is basically you launch the Keynote app and you can see the monitor went blank and your iPad is now a, a remote control. So if you swipe on the iPad, you see the transition on the monitor. 
and you see a basic interface on the iPad. So essentially your iPad is the remote for the monitor. Now when I connect the iPad 1 you see nothing appears on the display but if I bring up an app that supports video output like YouTube I'll actually have a video display. So let's see what I brought home. So again the iPad becomes the remote and the monitor is the full screen display. Now let's go to Netflix and demonstrate that feature again. So once again Netflix is the remote and the video is on the monitor. It's the same with slideshows so if we go to photos so you can see I can bring up a slide, it doesn't appear on the monitor, but if I tap slideshow, start slideshow, you now have it on the monitor. And again, this is a remote, so you can tap a slide, jump right to it. Works pretty good. And naturally this also works with Keynote. So again, the iPad is the remote, and the monitor is the display. Now iPad 1 and iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation behave exactly the same, so you have the exact same capabilities. So again, no mirroring, but if I bring up an app that supports video output like YouTube, let's go to my latest video. Again, I have a remote control for my monitor. What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to be comparing the I also have slideshows again so if I click play start slideshow and third-party apps like Netflix also support video output I'll show you briefly the iPod touch fourth generation also behaves the same So once again guys, this is Detroit Borg with a look at the VGA adapter on iPad 2 and everything else. Thanks for watching.